All right, Kendo Reviews, Nintendo Switch. We're taking a look at the Switch hardware itself. Um, I have two Switches, as you can see. I have the regular Switch, I have the Switch Lite. Why do I have two of them? Um, one is for on-the-go only, and the other is for uh, TV. I use this one mainly in TV mode, so yeah. Anyway, the Switch. Um, the Switch is a pretty good handheld. Um, you can play any sort of game you want on it that's available on the Switch. <coughs> and for the most part, it's gotten <coughs> a lot of the games that have come to the Xbox One or the PlayStation 4 or the PC. And it's been really good, actually. It's been really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Some people call me a Nintendo fanboy. Which is not necessarily true because of how little I actually play the Switch. Compared to the Xbox. But, I mean, as far as a console goes, it's a pretty good console. You just, just sit down and play a game handheld mode if you want to, or you can play in dock mode, which is what I do with the regular Switch block, dock mode, so, play games like, uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, for example, which I have right here, or Lego DC Super Girls, which I just recently got, Bayonetta 2, Bayonetta 1, Fortnite, Outlast, Outlast 2, Fire Emblem, I have a Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, and Blade of Light. I believe that's a port of the first Fire Emblem game for some reason. I bought it before it got discontinued or something. Pretty sure. Or some of my favorite games of all time, like Valkyria Chronicles or Valkyria Chronicles 4, or Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, or No More Heroes. Anyway, the, the point is you can play any game. Now this switch is from 2018, it's not one of the new switches with better battery life, it's just a regular switch. Um, now what are my thoughts on the switch light? The switch light is still really good, um, I like it, playing handheld mode only, but you know, that's a trade off I guess. And uh, if I want to play handheld mode only, or I want to bring it out uh, with me, I, I usually do this switch. Um, because it's lighter, it's smaller. Actually, when I go to uh, school, I'm going to be um, bringing this one with me a lot, probably. So, I can play... Again, Lego DC Super Villains, or Lego The Incredibles, or Ukulele, or Pokemon Let's Go Eevee on this, and it plays like a dream. It plays like you'd expect. It plays I got a Nintendo game. Okay? In fact, I don't have any Nintendo games to have on the Switch. Like, that's because I hardly buy it. I need to buy some Nintendo games, like, uh... Uh, I don't know, Mario Kart or something, I would love to buy, I would love to play Mario Kart, for example. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really good system, um, no matter which one you get, there's also the Switch OLED coming out, um, but personally, for me, I, I don't need another Switch, you know, I, I don't need another Switch, it's, uh, And if I wanted another Switch, I'd want one with full, that capable of outputting at 4K. Which is what I thought Nintendo were going to do, but they didn't end up doing that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's just a review of the Switch. Uh, you should get one. And uh, you should enjoy it. I mean, you're, gonna, you're getting a ton of old-time games. The new Sonic game. The new Sonic game coming to the Nintendo Switch, as well as PlayStation and the Xbox. It's pretty good.
pretty good, I swear. Anyway, see ya.